Welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm Dee. I'm E. And today we're going to be talking to you guys about somebody that I'm sure y'all have heard of, you know of, but do you really know them? And that Lori Harvey. So, of course, we've all seen the men she dates. We've all seen the pretty pictures and everything, but we thought we would kind of go in a little bit and find out about her, considering we found out a lot about her mother. <laughs> Shout out Marjorie. Check out our videos on Marjorie and Steve Harvey. Yeah, for sure. It's All right. See. <laughs> so a lot of people feel like Lori Harvey's mama taught her how to play the game. I don't know. I'm not there, but you know, from the outside looking in, it sure does look that way. So, people on Twitter suggest and echo sentiments about how she must have read her dad's book, her dad being Steve Harvey, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, for tips on how to be a <laughs> the badass that she is. Others have pointed to her mom, Marjorie Harvey, for the influential role she's had in Lori's game, suggesting instead that it was her mother that taught her everything she knows. It suggests Marjorie's past is more intriguing than most might assume based off of her social media filled with fashion and family. Um, the oh, couple, couple that with the fact that she's flown mostly under the radar throughout her time in the spotlight, only appearing in headlines when it pertains to her and Steve's philanthropy. The buzz of criminal ex-husbands and failed marriages sure is a good clickbait. Uh-huh. Um, there hasn't been much mentioned or discussed um, on who's Lori's biological dad, um, but every few months, a bunch of Twitter sleuths will say they found a mugshot of Donna Woods, the man believed to be her biological dad. One notable move Marjorie made is changing her kids' last names. It was a smart move on Marjorie's part for three reasons. The first reason is uniformity. Uniformity may not seem so important, but in Marjorie and Steve's blended family, it really helped keep questions about who is who at bay. Plus, the name changes were so effective that most people initially, myself included, just assumed Lori was Steve's biological daughter. Same here. Um, the second reason pertains to the worth of being a Harvey. Steve amassed a great deal of wealth, which is inherently tied to his name. And the Third reason is to help create and maintain some distance from Jim and Donnell and the crimes they were tied to. There is some public information out there about the men in Marjorie's past, like in a 2004 article detailing Donnell's indictment. The article says he was one of five people brought into custody in a scheme to traffic drugs from Houston to Memphis. According to the article, Donnell was indicted along with his four brothers who, if he is in fact Lori's dad, would be Lori's uncles. The men were accused of conspiracy to possess and distribute from 2000 through 2003, so that essentially means at least back then, they were a crime family. Um, of course, Marjorie wanted to cut ties. Um, Twitter has also suggested that Marjorie was directly involved with some of these crimes, and articles by lesser-known media outlets even pointed to her being under investigation by the FBI and DEA at one point. I mean... Yeah. So, I think that also refers to Jim. It's Jim and Donnell. They both were kingpins. They both went to jail. You know, who's the dad of, you know, her three kids has always been in question. If you see our other video, we... we go into that a little bit yeah but ba mainly it's Lori like they don't know because uh Jim was actually in jail and they were getting a divorce Marjorie was pregnant was she you know getting a little busy with Jim or you know was she with Donnell already so I actually haven't seen a picture of Donnell but yeah I haven't either hmm. but Marjorie has a shady past shady shady all right, so your girl, Lori, and I say your girl because she's not my girl. Her dating history, right? <laughs> we know she has dated a slew of men. Is is that, like, a fair assessment? No, she's young. Yeah, of course. I guess. You know, she has her fair share of high-profile relationships. We're going to go through, like, 25 of them. Just kidding. Maybe, like, six. 
All right. Her latest relationship with Damson Idris, you know, basically Idris Elba, Eldris, you know, we're, we're all like have the same names kind oh, of thing. Oh, okay. So Damson. Um, they were at, went Instagram official on January 13, 2023 on the model's birthday. Rumor that they were both an item began floating late last year with the pair spotted um, out in December. So they print pretty pretty quiet. Yeah. Quiet for Lori because, you know, with Michael B. Jordan, who's next, Mm. she was out and about and he was pulling all the stunts. Yeah. Um, They were an item for a strong 18 months before they went their separate ways in June 2022. Harvey and Jordan uh, went Instagram official on January 10th, 2021, and would make fans swoon with the also oh romantic photos of extravagant dates, stunning red carpet moments, and sweet sentiments about each other throughout the course of their relationship. Okay. All right. One of my favorite rappers, Future. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey and Future fueled the rumor mill um, when the rapper shared the photo of the model on his Instagram stories in December 2019. The stars reportedly broke up around August 2020. Hmm. Okay. Now, a billionaire, Diddy, Sean Diddy Combs, <laughs> and Harvey sparked romance rumors in the summer of 2019 when they were spotted strolling around New York City wearing matching outfits. Uh-huh. That really Justin, Brittany, back in the day with the Canadian, yeah. what was it called? Canadian, Canadian tuxedo. The like Canadian tuxedos. Yeah. So they were wearing matching outfits. It seems like the romance had fizzled out by October 2019 as Lori unfollowed Diddy on Instagram. So he is still following her. Around the same time, Diddy was also spotted with Gemini Man, actress uh, Nicole Oliveira. Okay, next one. I don't know. He's famous and infamous, probably. Trey Songs. Harvey and Trey Songs were reportedly together from December 2018 to February 2019, according to OK Magazine. Uh, It seems their rumored romance ended amicably. Song surprised uh, revealed that he was a first time dad to son Noah in May 2019. Oh, I don't know. Was the baby on the way already? <laughs> oh, right. All right. So who's Diddy related to? Justin. Oh, boy. That's his daddy. Uh, before she started dating Diddy, uh, there were rumors that Harvey and Diddy's son, Justin Combs, were an item. The internet started buzzing about the romance after the two were spotted at an event hosted by Diddy, Jeezy, and Future. Harvey told E! News, I've actually never met him before. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've heard that I've dated a father and a son before, which is absolutely not true. Who knows? And lastly, even though I'm sure there's like a crap load in between, uh, Memphis to pay. Lori was almost a bride. At 20 years old, she was engaged to the Dutch soccer player, Memphis Depay, who proposed to her in 2017. The couple later split, and Lori was spotted in 2018 without her engagement ring. Mm. Very high-profile relationships. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so hear me out, right? Mm -hmm. For a long time, I did not like her, but I'm going to tell you why. Because I was jealous. I love Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> love. You see, I was jealous. I was. Like, Michael B. Jordan is one of my biggest crushes. Like, how you gonna take my man? What I thought I- it was Idris Elba. Idris Elba's the love of my life. There's a difference. <laughs> Ma'am, there is a difference. <laughs> Anywho, so I was not happy. I was like, really, girl? Really? Did oh, you as know? happy as you're not for, <laughs> I don't even know if I said that right, for Kendall and Bad Bunny? Like, how on the un- 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 unhappy scale are you? We're, we're not talking about Kendall and Bad Bunny. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, so I was very upset because I was like, not Michael B. Jordan. But I got over it. Um, and And then, you know, I thought it was interesting that the rumor like after they broke up was that he was ready to propose he was ready to like settle down and everything 
and she wasn't. And, you know, that basically was the reason, supposedly, allegedly, right, that it ended. Um, And I think that, like, in today's society, people find that so hard to believe that a woman does not want marriage, that a woman wants to be, you know, on her own, do her own thing. And she'll decide in her life when she wants to, like, have those things, right? Like, and, and, and so people basically make her out to seem like she's this HOE because she's had, you know, several different high profile relationships I mean but she's young like what are you supposed to do in your 20s other than have fun and enjoy your life and you know do all these things so like I think at first yes I had an issue with her because she was Michael B. Jordan but I didn't like the perception that you know was so prevalent where people were just kind of like you know making her seem into this like the same thing that they've done with Taylor Swift, by the way, making mm-hmm. her seem like she's, you know, this like non lady like person just because she's had different relationships or whatever. Whereas if a man does it, it's standard, it's normal. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give her props for her dating history. Aside from future, pretty good choices there. Oh, and aside from Trey Songs, because he's a assaulter person. But yeah, you know, I was going to go in here and go hard on her, right? But it's basically the opposite of everything you said. So hear me out. Okay. Right? Should she be dating? You know, of course, I think she's, you know, younger than 30, right? I don't think she's 30. Yeah, she's like 26, 27. Right? Yeah. So obviously I'm all for it. I'm pro dating, but. You know, I, I had considered her, I'm going to say like a little hosky, right? I'm going to say the word. Because they're all high profile relationships. It goes back to one of our videos where I mentioned, I'm like, what? Why can't people have low key relationships? Or like, you know, yeah. uh, circling the internets lately are body counts. Like mm-hmm. what happened to just, you know, just chilling on the low? We right. know Future wasn't serious. That was just a hookup. Like, oh. why, do we, why wait, do we need to know about that? But wait, though. Because huh. apparently, Lori broke his heart. And I'm going to always love her for that. Because really? you haven't heard the song where he's like, oh, tell Steve Harvey, I don't want her. Like, why? Why even say that? Because wait. Future was really into his feelings lately. He hasn't let go of Sierra and Russell Wilson. Or Lori. Like, Well, I guess Lori too, but whatever. (laughs) I had considered her a a whole skeet. You know why? Because society has put this pressure on women to keep it on the low, right? Like women shouldn't behave in this manner. Right. Do I approve of her dating and doing her thing? Of course I do in theory, but we still can't change unless we all come together and do this big old revolution. (laughs) We all can't change the way yeah. Society views us, um, our peers view us, this, this, and that. I don't feel like if it's not that serious, I don't think people should know about it, you know? That's true. That's true. That was my my initial. But then, you know, this whole, I keep bringing it up, Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, right? We were going over the video. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. We posted it yesterday, Travis Kelsey um taylor swift are they the it couple are they the perfect couple (laughs) but as we were reading you know some of her dating of taylor swift's dating history i was like my girl writes a song about every man she's been with she's been with more men than she changes her draws kind of thing right so i was like what (laughs) it's okay i i'm telling you i'm for it right so Just listen to my rationale. Don't judge me. So then I was like, okay, why did I never consider Swift what I considered Lori? I'm like, that's not right. Oh, that's an interesting point. Okay. So I was like, okay, so what is, is it because, you know, I'm more into like the R&B hip hop world and that's what I listen to. And I'm like, oh, Taylor, she's over there doing her thing or whatever. I don't know what she's doing. Or is it, you know, is it a racial thing? Is it a who's 
you know, Steve Harvey and like what his mom and what her mom presents to be? Like, is it that persona? Like they're all great. Is it, you know, Taylor Swift acting like she's all good and innocent and everybody just likes her because she's bashing on her exes? Or I, I don't know what it is. Right. Point is, my perception sort of changed. They are free to date. Of course, I'm not telling them what to do. They could do what they want. Um, but I feel like they should keep it on the low. But how on the low can they keep it since they're in Hollywood? I know. I, I said a whole bunch of everything and nothing at the same time. But I did question myself and say, why don't I think Taylor Swift is like this? And I think Lori is like this. Yeah. Is it because Lori is more promiscuous? Like more like out there? Not, not from... <laughs> I don't know. Let's say I don't really see Taylor Swift in a bathing suit kind of thing or, or wearing the same kind of outfits or something like that. It probably has more to do with the fact that Taylor was in a well, like a five, six plus year relationship with her last boyfriend, last major boyfriend, um, Joe Alwyn, I believe is his name, yeah. um, that she was very low key about. But the reason she was very low key about that is because of the sort of um, backlash she would get whenever she would date a guy. Like, there was a super uncomfortable episode of her um, doing an interview with Ellen DeGeneres. And I felt so bad for her because mm-hmm. they, she literally was just pointing to, like, pictures she'd put on the screen of guys. Like, oh, you dated him, right? Oh, you dated this one too, right? And it was just kind of, like, very misogynist. Like, super misogynist. Yeah. And Taylor was uncomfortable. Visibly uncomfortable. At one point, she looked like she was going to cry. Like, basically saying, can you not do that? Like, please stop. Like, and it just was... Like, is a bully. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And and so I think she got burned so much from mm-hmm. the way that people, men and women included, saw her as this like um this this like not necessarily promiscuous, but as this girl who like dates all these boys and then writes songs about them, you know? So it became like a game for people, like, oh, she dated this guy, is she gonna write about him? You know, and it was just kind of like she would be asked about it, hounded about it, you know, all these things. So eventually, when she started dating with this guy, is I think when people noticed she was very low key. Like you did not see Taylor unless Taylor wanted you to see her. And um so maybe, you know, because she was in that relationship for so many years, you didn't know like notice her being out there um the way that like Lori has been or or whatever. So so that's probably mm-hmm. why it didn't, you know, um connect for you the same way. But um uh, but yeah, no, I get I, I get your point. I see what you mean as far as like attributing one uh perception to one uh compared to the other. Um, but going back to Lori, like yeah, of course society needs to change, like wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. But so what do we do? Do we conform? Because I don't I, I mean at the end of the day, I don't want people to be like, Oh, you know, well, you know, E has been with like 175 guys. Not that I give a crap what people think, but some of those actions like trickle down into other things. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I can't just be willy nilly doing what I want without some kind of consequence to it. Unfortunately, I feel like that's the world we live in kind like, of thing. That's the thing is like, like, they are living through consequences. Lori knows, she has to know that the world perceives her as promiscuous, as this or that. That can't be like a good feeling to have. I mean, you know, maybe she's well grounded mm-hmm. and she... I mean, come on. Like, when you have so many people, including the Shade Room and all these other, like, you know, blogs that are like, Lori and her new man, Lori struck again, you know, like, all these different things. There's no way that you, that she's not aware. The same mm-hmm. way that Taylor is aware of the perception, you know, of her and her dating habits and all that stuff. But it's like, date a million guys. That's your business. And it sucks that because they're public figures, they're judged so harshly. And not just that they're public figures, they're women who are public figures. They're judged so harshly, Um, which I think is just, you know, like it sucks. Overall, like it sucks. I don't think that like basically pointing out, oh, you dated this guy, you dated that guy. Like it, it doesn't matter, you know? And then let's say 10 years from now, if, one or two of them are Taylor or, or Lori, like they're happily married and you know, whatever. 
are people gonna bring up their past are people gonna bring up their old boyfriends like their dating history like who cares they're not the same people anymore you know that to kim though <sighs> no we only bring up one person to kim but that's another story because um, that whole controversy trumps everything else that she's done that comes right after and I mean, all the else reggie bush Chris Humphreys, basically anybody that's ever disappeared. Nick Cannon. Yeah. Uh, who else? Pete Davidson now. Odell, which we heard about 2.5 seconds. Maybe Chris didn't like the media press on that. Like the, the stats were not high enough. I, I haven't heard about him anymore. Well, like, <laughs> but, but, you know, she also brought it back. Like mm-hmm. the whole controversy when they first started their new Hulu show making that first season yeah about that so so you know can people forget about what happened yeah most of the time i never even remember that happened but then you bring it up and like have that as the whole plot line for your first season of a new show okay you brought it back to the forefront of people's memories so Mm -hmm. but but in 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 these women's cases like Lori or taylor or whatever like i said if 10 years from now they're happily married with kids or they're just happily single, living whatever other life. Like, who's to say that they're going to have the same mentality? Maybe they are still going to date however many men they want. Or maybe they're only going to just, like, date every once in a blue moon. Why do we have to hold these people to these same kind of standards? Like, a version of who we may have known them to be before is not a version of who they are today. Like, people change, right? Like, not necessarily, like, there's times I think that, like, people can change fundamentally. But I think mostly people just evolve, right? It's like, it's not necessarily that you're not that person at 100%. It's just that you're not that exact person, that exact version of you, right? Um, so so I think like with Lori and everything, I mean, she's had her mom, of course, teaching her like life lessons. And then Steve, who literally wrote the book on this. Like, so so if her family, her parents are basically teaching her these life lessons that she's applying to herself and everything like who are we to really judge you know what it is she's doing if her literally her parents are the ones who kind of like instilled in her like don't accept this don't accept that Mm -hmm. live your life you know yeah i I mean Lori says you are the prize (laughs) (laughs) i mean yeah and it is something that like i think i think if if more parents were to do that with their daughters, then maybe things would be a little bit different in society all around. Because look at situations where, like, you get with men who probably aren't that great for you simply because you've been together a while and they propose it's time to settle down. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you have, like we just talked about um, in one of our other episodes, Joe Jodis and Sophie Turner, who is several years older than her, got her got married to her right away, got her pregnant twice, and now they're going through a divorce. Like sometimes it's probably best to hold out and see what else is out there because it's not always perfect. So anyway, I'm sure just like everybody else, Lori's had her hit and misses. Mrs. Being Future and Trey Songs. Um, but she seems to be doing well so far with Idris. What? Why is she so low key with him? I'm just wondering. Yeah. yeah. I think it's probably more a him thing, I want to mm-hmm. say. Or maybe it could be that for her, she's also reached that Taylor point in her life where she's tired of people talking about her relationships and she's just going to keep it low key the way that, you know, Taylor did with her other relationships. So it could be that, or it could be that he's just, like, a low-key person um, in general. Who knows? Maybe. Like, his show just wrapped up, so you know, maybe it's just kind of, like, a, a wanting to just kind of take a break from all of that stuff. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Well, it was also said that Michael B. Jordan um, and her getting together was a whole publicity stunt. Yeah, that's you that's know, we have a lot of that lately. Kendall and Bad Bunny. <laughs> okay, I won't bring it up anymore. Huh. But 
girl, do your thing, I guess. You know, who cares what I think? Who cares what people think? Yeah. You know? Live your life. Think, think like a man. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't even be thinking like a man anymore. Because at the end of the day, like, just act like however you want to like. However you want to be. Because men are doing what they're doing. You should be entitled to do whatever you want to do. It doesn't necessarily mean you got to do it the way they do. Do it better. Mm. On that note, <laughs> that concludes today's video. Let us know what you think in the comments about Lori Harvey and Taylor Swift. Or what was her name? Is it Brittany Renner? The one that was just with uh, Shannon? Yeah. Too much? A <laughs> little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Let us know uh, what you think. What do you think about Steve's book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man? Do you think that Marjorie taught Lori how to play the game? Who's Lori's daddy? Because I want to know, though. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> going downhill. All right, guys, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our videos. Uh, we're growing our community, and we're so happy about that. Your friends could be our friends. We could all be friends. We love talking to you guys, so I think it'll be a great match. Uh, we also have social media, which Steve will tell you about. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me D N E. Make sure to follow us there and to share our posts, stories, and everything. Like, comment. We enjoy communicating with you guys. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.